Good afternoon to everybody here. So I am David Gonzalez from Colombia team. So uh, I am going to present it to you the sound thermometer. So the first thing is at uh, the problem, uh, there was a method to obtain the temperature of the fluid by listening to the sound emitter when it's pouring to the cup. It's the precision, accuracy, and the limits of your method, as well as your important parameters of the fluid. So the first uh, ordinary presentation, uh, experimental observations, how uh, we do a um, method for design, and a theoretical approach. So the first, uh, the experimental observations, uh, as I love the video of the of the set list of problems here for 18 Celsius degrees, uh, we have this spectrum. It's okay. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we have to the spectrum from the whole war to the uh, 15 Celsius degrees. So here we can see any operational uh, difference. So, uh, next one. Uh, with the observations that uh, we do, we release that uh, we if if we don't have drops, there is no sound emission. So this is the basic idea that we do work travel we promise, sorry. And here is a summary of the uh, what's happening here. So here is the fluid. Here is a stream falling with the constant radius. So um, appears a perturbations and these perturbations grow, grow, and we reach a critical length and we have a drop. It. So um, we take a how is the drop formation? So here, this by uh, Bernard principle, the instability is derived of the instability, and finally we have drops. So after we have drops, we analyze how the drops. Uh, hits the surface of water, and when it hits there here, when it hits there is no sound emission. The bubble uh, generate uh, the <coughs> drop generates a bubble, and when the bubble is on the or in the hit surface, uh, explodes and produces the sound emission, and it's here. And the only frequency that survives is the frequency, uh, the resonance frequency, and is given by this expression. So with this experimental setup, we do our measures. And here is uh, in support. We are uh, here is this setup. Yeah. With a, a water container now the microphone and here is the um, uh, the water and uh, where this volume. So here is the spectrum that we took. Here is uh, the sound frequency, the sound intensity for different temperatures, and here is only four, we take eight, um, and here is the peak for each frequency, and we uh, after we take the radius <laughs> versus temperature experimentally, and we did this fix for our data. And after, we take the frequency versus the temperature here. Uh, the black fix and the, black, uh, the blue fix and the blue point uh, is a theory. The approximation we given with this equation. And the red is the experimental data. Here is the frequency, the temperature, and the uh, fix was done with this equation. So here is a relationship between the maximum frequency for uh, the peak of and the temperature uh, and the temperature yeah here is a constant uh, that it's equal to one and has of units of hertz over Celsius degrees so here is the clear relationship between the frequency of the H drop and the temperature that is the uh, score of the experiment so after we did a uh, summary of what we done is a take a call uh, with a fluid at the half field, uh, take a microphone to record, 
uh, Lusa dropper to generate the drop. Uh, let the drop at less than 10 centimeters to the water. This is for uh, the intensity to reach to here. And take the frequency and calculate the temperature. Uh, take the frequency and calculate the temperature according with that previously uh, equation with this. So the accuracy uh, for the frequency we have uh, 18 here. Uh, and the temperature is 6 Celsius degrees. And the process is not very precise because it depends on the initial conditions and conclusions that the sound is emitted by, is, the sound emission is carried out in the process of the stop drops. And the model is accurate with the data we took and the, we have to consider it the limits, the phase transitions and the Newton's law calling, for example. So, thank you for everyone. And Thank you for the presentation. Um, we're going to have another presentation.